NVIDIA just took a $5.5 billion hit, not from a rival in Silicon Valley, but from a Chinese company the US once thought it had sidelined. Huawei. What was supposed to be a strategic blow to China's tech ambitions has turned into a wake-up call. Huawei isn't just surviving without US chips, it's launching its own AI chip, the 910C, and it's moving fast. Shipments are already rolling out and Chinese developers are lining up. Behind the scenes, this isn't just about technology, it's about independence, strategy, and a major shift in global AI power. While Nvidia stumbles under export bans and shrinking influence, Huawei is getting smarter, faster, and bolder. This video dives deep into how the tables have turned. What this means for the future of AI dominance and how China might be winning this race not by building the best chip, but by making the one it needs most. NVIDIA's downfall didn't happen overnight, but this latest blow is one of its most severe. The company, once seen as untouchable in the AI chip space, is now facing a reality where its grip on the global market is slipping. It started with the US tightening export controls, banning NVIDIA from selling its most advanced AI chips, like the H100 and B200, to China. To work around this, NVIDIA designed a downgraded version, the H20 chip, specifically for the Chinese market. But even that workaround fell apart when US regulators announced that even H20 sales would now require a special export license. In other words, Nvidia got boxed in, and the consequences hit fast. Nvidia was forced to write off $5.5 billion in orders it could no longer fulfill. The H20 chips were already seen as subpar. No one outside of China wanted them, and now even Chinese clients were forced to look elsewhere. That triggered a 6% drop in NVIDIA's shares, spooking investors and raising serious questions about the company's future dominance in one of the world's most important tech sectors. But this isn't just about one company taking a loss, it's about a strategic miscalculation. The US hoped export bans would slow China's progress in AI. Instead, it handed China the motivation to build its own ecosystem. And while Nvidia scrambles to deal with growing restrictions, Huawei is stepping in, filling the gap with chips of its own. The irony? In trying to weaken China's AI capabilities, the US may have just pushed them into overdrive. While Nvidia is struggling to navigate restrictions, Huawei is charging forward with ruthless efficiency, and it's doing so on its own terms. The launch of Huawei's 910C AI chip marks a pivotal moment in China's technological rise and, more importantly, in its ability to compete without relying on American hardware. According to reports, Huawei is preparing mass shipments of the 910C to Chinese customers as early as next month. In fact, some deliveries have already quietly begun. This chip isn't just a product, it's a statement, a signal that China is done playing catch-up, it's now setting the pace. This shift didn't happen overnight. Chinese companies have been under pressure to replace US tech for years, but now that urgency has transformed into action. Huawei's 91C is positioned as the domestic replacement for Nvidia's H20, a chip that was once widely available in China before the US cracked down. And while Huawei has kept quiet about the specifics of the 910C's capabilities, insiders say it's more than capable of powering the next generation of Chinese AI development. One policy expert even told Reuters that this chip is expected to become the default hardware for AI startups across China. And Huawei isn't doing this in isolation. Behind the scenes, a carefully coordinated supply chain is forming. The 910C chips are being built within China, with the help of domestic chipmaker SMIC, one of the few capable of pulling off this kind of advanced manufacturing. And even though SMIC faces its own limitations under sanctions, they're getting the job done using creative workarounds and innovations. In some cases, Huawei has reportedly relied on a middleman, Safco, to source components that still have foreign links. It's not a clean process, but it's working, and that's what matters. Even the chip design itself reflects a mindset shift. Unlike Nvidia's sleek, monolithic architecture, Huawei's approach is more modular. Its AI infrastructure stitches together multiple pieces of hardware to create something that mimics the performance of Nvidia's high-end systems. It's not elegant, it's not efficient, but it doesn't need to be. What matters is that it works, and that it works without US parts. This ability to innovate under constraint is something American tech companies haven't had to deal with, but China has been forced to adapt, and in doing so, it's becoming more resilient. And let's not forget the political and economic backdrop. The Chinese government isn't just watching this unfold, they're fueling it. Through subsidies, policy support, and strategic partnerships, Beijing is making it easier for companies like Huawei to take risks, experiment, and scale fast. What once seemed like a weakness, being cut off from Western tech, has become a catalyst. Huawei has been under fire for years, painted as a symbol of China's overreach, but now it's becoming a blueprint, a model for how Chinese firms can thrive even under the weight of sanctions. 
The implications are huge. With each successful chip Huawei produces, the need for American hardware diminishes. The leverage the US once held by controlling access to cutting-edge technology is slipping, and if Huawei can keep this momentum, it won't just level the playing field, it could redefine it. China isn't just building a new chip, it's building a future where it sets the standard for AI on its own terms. The real story here isn't just about Nvidia's losses or Huawei's breakthrough, it's about a massive global shift in how AI power is being built, distributed, and controlled. What we're witnessing is the acceleration of China's drive toward full technological independence, and it's reshaping not just business strategies, but geopolitical dynamics. At the center of this transformation is a powerful truth. Necessity is the mother of invention, and nowhere is that more evident than in how China is responding to U.S. sanctions, not by folding, but by innovating at a breakneck pace. Huawei is only the tip of the spear. The same ingenuity and urgency that brought the 910C chip to market is happening across China's tech sector. Take DeepSea, for instance, a Chinese startup that stunned the world by building a GPT-4 level model using only a fraction of the resources companies like OpenAI have access to. This kind of achievement underscores a broader trend. China is learning how to do more with less. It's turning scarcity into strategy. Instead of relying on the most powerful chips or the biggest cloud infrastructure, Chinese AI developers are optimizing what they have, finding workarounds, and writing code that can stretch limited resources further than anyone thought possible. And the momentum is real. Chinese companies aren't just patching together temporary solutions. They're laying the groundwork for long-term independence. The more these domestic systems improve, the less China needs American chips, software, and platforms. This erodes the leverage the U.S. has used for years in trade talks, tech standards, and global negotiations. Export controls, which once seemed like an effective tool to slow down Chinese innovation, are starting to look like a short-term fix with long-term consequences. Once China's alternatives are good enough, the entire strategy collapses. We're already seeing this play out beyond just AI chips. Apple, for example, has lost its top spot in China's smartphone market to local brands like Xiaomi and Huawei. This isn't just a market shift, it's a signal that Chinese consumers are buying into domestic tech more than ever before. That shift is being amplified by Beijing's consumer subsidies and nationalistic policies that favor homegrown products. Meanwhile, American companies are feeling the pressure from both sides, slowing consumer demand at home due to recession fears and growing restrictions abroad that are closing off entire markets. And it doesn't stop at Nvidia or Apple. The broader tech landscape is experiencing similar turbulence. Companies like Google and Meta are under intense regulatory scrutiny in the U.S., facing court cases, antitrust investigations, and increasing pressure to overhaul how they operate. As America's tech giants are tied up in legal battles and forced to navigate complex domestic politics, Chinese firms are streamlining their operations, backed by state support and scaling faster than anyone expected. This divergence in pace and focus could be the deciding factor in who leads the next era of AI. While the U.S. is still ahead in terms of raw innovation and research, China's ability to adapt, build under constraints, and rally its entire tech ecosystem around national priorities gives it an edge that's often overlooked. It's not about having the flashiest product anymore, it's about who can deliver solutions at scale, fast, and at low cost. And that's where China is quickly gaining ground. The reality is stark. We're moving toward a world where the AI race is no longer a fight to build the most advanced chip. It's about building the most accessible one. That changes everything, from how talent is trained, to how markets compete, to how nations negotiate power. Huawei's 910C is just one chip, but its impact is symbolic of something much larger. It represents a shift in momentum, a breaking of dependencies, and a clear message to the world. China is no longer trying to catch up, it's rewriting the rules. As the dust settles, the ripple effects of Huawei's AI chip launch are beginning to surface across the global tech economy, and they go far beyond just semiconductors. What we're really looking at is a strategic realignment of global influence, where access to technology becomes a currency of power. For years, the United States maintained its edge by controlling the tools, the chips, the software, the research institutions. But that control only holds weight if the rest of the world remains dependent on it. With Huawei's move and broader Chinese efforts to build homegrown alternatives, that dependency is cracking. And it's not just about China gaining independence, it's about the U.S. losing leverage. Export controls, trade bans, and licensing restrictions were designed to keep key technologies out of China's hands, but they've also incentivized China to build faster, smarter, and more collaboratively. What once was a fragmented, developing tech landscape is now an ecosystem that's becoming more efficient with every iteration. Chinese firms are working together, supported by state-backed policies, pooled resources, and a unified national vision. The U.S., on the other hand, is seeing its companies pulled in multiple directions pressured by politics, legal battles, and market uncertainty. 
Meanwhile, emerging markets are watching closely. Countries in Southeast Asia, Africa, and South America are exploring partnerships with China, eager to access AI capabilities without having to rely on Western tech giants. Huawei's ability to offer an AI solution built entirely outside of the U.S. supply chain opens doors for alliances that were previously off-limits. That kind of autonomy is attractive, especially for governments and companies wary of U.S. influence or sanctions. What we're seeing is the start of a new AI order. One that's less about who invented the technology and more about who can deliver it on their own terms. So this isn't just about Huawei versus NVIDIA. It's about a broader question. Who gets to shape the future of artificial intelligence? With Huawei's 91C chip, China is making its answer clear. It won't be locked out. It won't slow down. And it definitely won't wait for permission. What started as an attempt to cripple China's tech ambitions has instead fueled one of the most significant power shifts in the AI landscape. NVIDIA's $5.5 billion loss isn't just a financial setback, it's a sign that the old rules of global tech dominance no longer apply. While the US doubled down on control, China doubled down on innovation. And now, with Huawei stepping into the spotlight, we're seeing what happens when a nation turns pressure into progress. The AI race is no longer about who has the biggest chip, it's about who can move the fastest with the fewest resources. And right now, China is proving it doesn't just have the will to compete, it has the tools to lead.